SQL Century is a maker of SQL Server tools, products, uh, several of which are devoted towards monitoring the behavior of not only SQL Server, but of Windows, analysis services, and other processes that run on your Windows box. For example, SharePoint or BizTalk or any of the CRM sorts of products that you might run. Our products are best of breed, so we give you more information, better details, more explicit uh, and uh, time-sensitive, context-driven information. So it's very, very detailed, best of breed, best information of any of the tools out there. We also make some tools that are more specifically designed not for the monitoring of uh, SQL Server systems and the processes that run on those SQL Server systems, but we, write, we have some really, really popular tools for those who write SQL queries. So maybe you're a developer or a report writer. You do those sorts of kinds of work. So uh, our most popular product is one called Plan Explore, which enables you to tell exactly what is happening inside of your SQL, your SQL statements, such as your inserts, updates, deletes, stored procedures, triggers, views, all of those kinds of things. And it shows you very, very precisely how those are behaving and it also makes it very easy for you to find what's bad about them and if there's any aspect of it that you need to fix. All right, so today, you were here last year, what's, what's the new thing this year? What are we all talking about this year we weren't talking about last year? In 2013, what are we talking about? So, let me think about that just for a moment. Let's pause, go for it. There's a lot of excitement in SQL Server community about the SQL Server 2012 release. And, and additionally, there's some, some new features that came in that release that a lot of people are interested in and they want to learn more about. One of them is the column store index, a very powerful new feature for very, very large databases, almost what you would call big data. And uh, the ability to process through millions and millions of records very quickly in seconds or subsecond time, where normally that might take minutes or hours even. There's a lot of talk about the cloud. So we have a lot of things happening in the cloud for Windows Azure, Windows Azure SQL database, connecting to other kinds of data sources in the cloud, such as Hadoop. And so there's a lot of talk about that, a lot of interest in the community about how do I get my SQL Server to work with the, uh, the various data sources I have in the cloud, or how do I build my own uh, data repository in the cloud and make that work. A lot of people are really interested in it. And they want to see what's what's going to happen, what's around the corner with cloud services. So what's the most common question you've got today? What have people asked you? Uh, the most common question that I've gotten over, over the course of the day, typically, is how do I make my SQL Server faster without spending any additional money? And that's kind of a funny question because the, the always the accurate answer to that, uh, knowing nothing else, is it depends. I don't know. You know, what are you doing? How are you using it? What's the workload like? And so in each of those different situations, there are different factors that you can juggle. And uh, anyone who's asked that question also knows that the next thing you do is you ask probing questions. You ask questions that reveal more information about what they are trying to do. So in some cases, people are, uh, when they say that, what they really mean is, how do I satisfy my users so they complain less? Your SQL Server may not be faster at all, it may just be that you have changed the way it operates, so that all the reporting is already done for them when they come into the office each day. Right? And so instead of having them run their queries ad hoc during the course of the day, you pre-prepare your reports. Lots of different ways to answer that question according to what the workload is uh, of the individual and the organization. But it's always a fun discussion to have because a lot of people who come to SQL Saturday are in a sort of situation where they're the only smart database person in their office. They don't have a lot of people they can do water cooler talk with about the databases that they work with every day. And so they get to meet other people, they get to meet big experts, well-known uh, professionals in the field, people who are authors, and ask them questions and get solutions to their specific problems. Last thing, what do you want people to take away from today? Hmm. Should I mention Design Mine at this point? Uh, put in a plug for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but how? Right. I have an idea about that. Okay. So, what would I like for the attendee and the viewer of this video to take away right now? The main thing I'd like you to know is that the SQL Server community is a dynamic and vibrant community. SQL Saturdays are supported by the vendor community. So you have great companies like DesignMine, and you have Astute, and you have uh, Dell, and you have Redgate, 
and you have my company, Sequel Century. You have lots of great companies that are exhibitors here at the event, and they come because of the concentration of uh, SQL Server people who come to the SQL Saturdays. The speakers, many of them, are some of the best known people in the SQL Server world, and yet many of them come on their own dime to uh, speak at these different events. And then you have also all of the other attendees, hundreds here in Silicon Valley. And one of the things that I'm always, always surprised with uh, is when I talk to people who are attending these sessions is they didn't realize that there is a very vibrant and active local relational database user group in town and a business intelligence user group here in the Silicon Valley area, as well as in other areas all around Northern California and across America, across North America, across the globe. And that's called the Professional Association for SQL Server. So the main thing I'd like everybody to take away today is that you're not alone. There's lots of people who share your concerns, who are working on the exact same problems, who have the same challenges and issues that they have to overcome just as you do, and that by not getting involved, you're denying yourself access to all of these great resources and a community that wants to share with you. Jody, cool.